This is Hadiye. She is four years old and in hospital in northern Tehran, infected with COVID-19. Her anxious mother watches over her, praying, as she receives treatment. Hadiye is one of a growing number of Iranian children being hospitalized with the virus. Unfortunately, due to the rising number of cases, naturally more children will be infected, and our PCR tests turn out positive more often. But they will be cured, and their recovery is shorter than adults, and recovery is more common among them. Exact statistics on the number of COVID-19 cases among children have not been provided by the Iranian government. The absence of reliable figures and a shortage of test kits in Iran mean it's difficult to gauge the role of children in spreading the virus, as they are often asymptomatic or show milder or different symptoms. Iranian health officials claim continuing mutation has made the virus more potent, and one infected family member is likely to pass it on to the entire family. Schools reopened in Iran in early September, but now more and more parents are reluctant to send their children. Research has shown that school closures negatively affect the mental well-being of children, depriving them of opportunities to be with their friends and get social support and interaction. Azadeh is aware of the adverse psychological impact of this on her twins, but feels she has no other choice. I think they shouldn't reopen schools, and it was a wrong decision. And if they postpone attending school for one year, that's not a problem. Iran was already struggling under crippling United States sanctions when this pandemic hit in February. Months on, the pain being inflicted on Iranians is increasing as they deal with additional economic hardship and dozens of COVID-19 deaths every day. Now, while trying to protect their physical health, they fear for the mental health of their children. Reza Hatami, TRT World, Tehran.